G'day everyone. It's such a beautiful morning down here in Sydney on Gadigal country and we've just finished up a beautiful networking in nature session with the quintessential storyteller Karen Sander from Story Room and the Aging Fearlessly podcast. Karen, thanks so much for joining us today. Well, John, as always, you know how much I love this event. It absolutely lights me up. I poach a lot of my storytellers at your event because people come out with such wonderful um, insights into their lives. And, oh, my God, it's the best way to let people hear in nature. Oh, well, our community is a lot richer for having you in it, Karen, so we're very thankful. But something that I love about Story Room, um, which is a regular event that Karen uh, runs up on the northern beaches and down in Cronulla, but it gives a platform just for everyday people to share stories. And I just love the idea that everyone has an interesting story, even if they don't consider themselves a storyteller. And I think the fact that you get hundreds of people together every month is just a testament to how interesting it is when we stop and actually listen, listen deeply to what what we've got to share and learn about each other. Do you want to just recap some of the things you spoke about this morning with the group? Yeah, well, we, we did a few different exercises today and, and one of them was two truths and a lie, guess the lie, and then share your story of one truth. And that was really fun for people, I think, just to... Um, it, had, it got them started thinking. And then uh, a trigger, like taking an object out of the bag and uh, using that object to trigger a story. And, and what it helps is to understand something about that person, whether the story in some cases were fictional, but a lot of them were about childhood, which was really interesting. And it helped people talk to you and connect you. And also the key point is listening. Because listening in storytelling is vital. If we don't listen, the story's wasted. Yeah. It's, uh, it's fundamental, isn't it, to, to connection as well, just telling stories and building that that sense of empathy and connection to other people and inspiration and and relatability. There's just so many things that came out from this morning. It was funny with your activity of choosing a random item <laughs> out of a bag and telling a story, just how the items seem to find the right person and seem to make sense um, in, yeah. in a beautiful way but um yeah it was it was a pleasure having you down as do you have any any final remarks that you'd like to share and, and please feel free to shout out about story room and how people can um, follow that up and, and get along yeah well the story room is an event that i run on the northern beaches and in cronulla and we are actually developing a membership area a private membership area called the backstage pass and that'll be launching in the next few months and and the podcast getting things going again. So I look, the more we can share these stories, the better our world. And the more connected we come to people, it takes us off our phones, off our computers, and wow, Jonathan, the nature, and I know you love nature, and this is such a great way to connect, so thank you. Thank you so much, Catherine. Well, everyone, you've heard it here first. Go and check out Story Room if you haven't already. I certainly love getting down there because, especially the one on DY, oh sorry, Brookvale, it's at a beautiful brewery and you can just sample a couple of delicious craft beers and kick back of an evening and hear all these amazing storytellers from all walks of life. So, um, and that really does create community. So, Karen, thank you once again and we'll see everyone soon. Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs>